Hi everyone, this is Dan and this is uh, New Mutants uh, number 9, uh, continuing the series of uh, my New Mutants origin on Magma. Uh, so when we last left off, our uh, favorite little ex-babies uh, got captured by uh, Roman centurions uh, because, uh, yes. <laughs> also love how in the, in the credits here it says Jim Shooter Emperor. <laughs> Ah, man, these guys were all kind of, uh, uh, I guess you could say, had a lot of work conflict between everybody, but uh, Jim Shooter was the boss, and he laid down the law. So uh, they get introduced, and this is Nova Roma, and it's basically a Rome, uh, complete with like time period correct sort of culture in the middle of the Andes. And it's a pretty freaking wild-ass idea by Chris Claremont. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, so all of our guys are kind of talking like, holy crap, what the hell is going on here? Uh, you know, they, they get put into uh, a prison cell. You get, uh, again, another fun prank of uh, Ron smelling something and being like, oh, God, that is awful. <laughs> and uh, they start to question Amara since uh, this was a sort of native Amazonian girl and now she's blonde uh, with brown eyes. That's really odd. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, but uh, Amara's eyes change colors all the time throughout the comics. I'm not sure whether they could ever decide whether she had brown eyes or blue eyes, but the coloring was never consistent with an Amara, and so it was kind of weird. So uh, they, they're kind of talking. They're still Bobby's still really pissed because he doesn't know whether his mom is alive or not. And uh, these people are, are, are bit, she's kind of explaining uh, what's going on right now. She's basically the daughter of a, uh, one of the major senators here in Nova Roma. And she, uh, she's also explaining what Nova Roma is to everybody. Uh, you know, it's a mixture of both Roman, uh, I guess, uh, migrants or immigrants uh, from many, many hundreds of years ago. And then Incas, that uh, native Incas that, that moved there after the Spanish uh, took over their land. A really cool concept. Uh, go through, so a lot of the characters, except for Sam, because Sam has like the hots for Amara, are really, really suspicious of her. And then Danny accidentally triggers her powers on Amara, and it, proje uh, pro it projects this character, which will be introduced very shortly, casting Amara into a pit of fire. And you kind of figure out, okay, this this girl, she's she's she wasn't in Nova Roma for a reason. She's trying to run away from something. Uh, Bobby loses his temper, or actually, uh, Sam and Bobby lose their temperature temper, and they try to escape. Uh, Bobby smashes open the door, and they all get hit by freaking uh, poison darts. <laughs> we move over, and this is uh, sort of some background story. Uh, this character right here, uh, Marcus Domitius, is uh, one of the. Uh, uh, military leaders in Nova Roma, and uh, he has a you know pretty intense uh, passive-aggressive uh, conflict with this character right here, who is Amara's uh, father, and he's the senator right here, and they're they're both kind of plotting. This is all a lot of like Roman intrigue. I'm not sure if this is like uh, Chris Claremont basing it off like the old Roman movies, or if maybe he was just reading too many history books at this time. Uh, it is a cool freaking concept because you get a lot of a lot of really interesting. Uh, just a really interesting plot, uh, even though it's freaking crazy, but it's kind of the crazy that that the New Mutants were known for. And we get introduced to this character, Celine. Uh, she is a sorceress of a kind, and uh, they they say that she is Incan, though I'm not sure if she is necessarily uh, Incan or, or, or she's from some other timeline or world or something like that. So she's kind of consoling him and telling him, hey, you should use my magic powers to get rid of this guy. But he's like, eh, I don't want to do it. I have to do it by my own hand, blah, 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 male honor. Uh, so she takes him down to the dungeons. She opens up a door, and she reveals this freaking piece of shit. Uh, he survived. And he's, uh, again, he's working for the Hellfire Club. So he's trying to uh, kill the, the kids uh, and, uh, and, uh, get rid of Bobby's, uh, mom, I should say. Uh, so they kind of make an unholy alliance, uh, with each other. Uh, so we go to the girls, and this is where it's, uh, pretty, pretty interesting. So these, so they're pampering the girls, and the reason why they're pampering them and giving them a bath and all, and a massage and brushing their hair is because they're getting ready to sell them as slaves. 
Uh, it's pretty insidious, but at the same time, it provides for some unique uh, dialogue that you don't normally get, which is the New Mutants kind of relaxing. You get uh, you get uh, Ron explaining how her hair works, and then you get back and forth for her, between them and Danny. And uh, being young girls and irresponsible, they drink the wine, which is not a good idea because uh, it's drugged. <laughs> So uh, the ladies running it, of course, are, are plotting because they know they, they just need to drug them up uh, so that when they're watching uh, Bobby and Sam later, they don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, Amara knows what's going on, and she's going to try and sneak out of here. She tries to wake up Ron and Danny, but they're too drugged. So she's like, okay, I got to go save myself. While she's running out, she starts to have uh, issues. She's, she's, getting, uh, she's getting a fever. She's fainting, and she can barely stop this. this I mean, it kind of looks like almost like a heat stroke. And when she turns the corner, it's her worst nightmare. It's Celine, and Celine has captured Amara now. We go and uh, we we catch up with uh, uh, Bobby and Sam, and they're down in the dungeons, uh, basically trapped as they're watching these two gladiators fight each other. Yeah, this is a lot of like, dude, this is a lot of Sal Buscema uh, getting to just draw people <laughs> in risque ways, right? Got a lot of interesting sort of uh, illustrations going on. They explain what's going to happen. They're going to get drugged and uh, forced to fight each other. Uh, we get to the day of the fight. You get a lot of uh, a lot of Roman history going on here as they explain the way the gladiatorial uh, fight works. Our, the two girls are just totally out of it. They're freaking freaking high as a kite. Uh, you get this right here. All, all honor to the Senate and people and glory of Rome. We who are about to die salute you. Yep, before the gladiator. Woo! Are you not entertained? <laughs> they they force drugs down both Sam and uh, and Bobby's throats, and that pretty much uh, gets them going. And uh, they don't really have a choice. They show off their mutant powers, and they just you know destroy the other gladiators in there. And accidentally, uh, uh, Sam hits Bobby, and that starts off their fight with each other. Uh, ends up being a short fight because they both hit each other at the same time, knock each other out and overcome each other's mutant powers. But then they kind of awaken from this and they just start fist fighting each other for real. This is when uh, Ron, who secretly at, during this time has a huge crush on Sam, uh, loses it and she decides to jump into the fray. Uh, she, she gets past the guards, turns into a wolf, and it freaks everyone the hell out. Uh, Danny finally, through psychic rapport with uh, with Ron, is able to uh, realize that, hey, we're getting drugged here. If we don't do something real quick, uh, the Numians are going to kill each other. So she uses her power to project uh, Professor Xavier, uh, creepy-ass <laughs> Professor Xavier from, like, classic uh, X-Men days, uh, to these guys to stop them. And uh, she joins them, and they're kind of like, oh, shit, we're all really screwed. We're surrounded by archers. We're going to get freaking killed. But surprisingly, this character, Marcus, uh, he... Uh, uh, tells all the archers to stand down, and he, uh, and this is going to get explained in the next issue, is basically going to manipulate the situation. So he uses Ron, who, you know, with the red hair and the ability to transform as a wolf, uh, he, he calls uh, forth the image of Julius Caesar and of uh, Romulus and Remus, uh, the she-wolf, right, who raised Romulus and Remus, the founders of Rome, and she calls her as both a symbol and a goddess of Rome. And that kind of gets the conflict stopped. He gives them the wreath of triumph. And they, you know, are sort of freed for now. <laughs> really crazy issue. Because uh, you, you read it and you're like, man, this doesn't even feel like a New Mutants issue. It feels like I just got transported to, like, you know, the gladiator. <laughs> But yeah, no, super cool issue. Uh, can't wait to also do number 10. Uh, also need to figure out what happened to Amara, which is very interesting, right? Is she going to get thrown to a pit by this crazy bitch? Uh, anyhow, that's the issue. Uh, let me know what you, what you think uh, down below. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. And I will be back with more New Mutants and more classic comics uh, later. And I will see you next time.